Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time! We are still in 1981, and today we're going to talk about Tempest. The story of Tempest takes us back to Atari. Atari, of course, has been featured quite heavily on Video Games Over Time. We last talked about Atari during our Centipede video. For Tempest, Atari turned once again to Dave Thur. We last talked about Dave Thur during our video on Missile Command. Thur was originally tasked with creating a 3D version of Space Invaders. The idea was to use a quadriscan vector display, which we saw in our video on Asteroids. However, initial attempts at a 3D version of Space Invaders caused too many problems, so the overall design was changed. For the new design, Thur was inspired by a nightmare he had in which monsters crawled out of the ground. The player's goal is to shoot the monsters before they can crawl out of the hole completely. While in development, the name of the game changed from Aliens to Vortex to its final name of Tempest. Tempest is a forced perspective shooter, where the player controls a claw-shaped blaster that can switch between different lanes. Each level will have 15 or 16 lanes. As the level progresses, the enemies will move up a lane toward the player. The enemies have different patterns. Some will shoot at the player, some will lay spikes down on the lane, and some will switch between lanes until it comes in contact with the player. The player can reach the next level by destroying all the enemies. If that happens, the blaster will travel down a lane to reach the next level. The player will lose a life if the blaster comes in contact with an enemy, gets hit by a bullet, or runs over a spike while trying to reach the next level. Tempest features 16 different level layouts. Should the player make it through all 16 levels, the layouts will cycle back to the first layout on a harder difficulty. When the player loses all their lives, the game is over. However, the next credit will start the next game on a different level based on how the previous player played. If the player played well, the next game will start on a higher difficulty level. This acts almost as a continue feature, allowing a skilled player to continue making progress between plays. Atari released Tempest to arcades in October 1981, where it became successful. That is the brief backstory to Tempest. With that now told, it's time to play the game for ourselves. And here we are in the game. This is Tempest. Now, as you can see, Tempest is going to look very different than other shooters that we have played, but the mechanics are essentially the same. We're going to be shooting, and then we're going to be uh, moving on to the next level once we defeat all the enemies. Now, I have played this quite a bit in my younger days. I never felt like I got good at the game. I should be able to get a high score. That's actually pretty easy in this game, but I'm not sure I can do much more than that. Uh, you can just kind of ignore the copyright date of 1980 on this. It was released in 1981. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to be particularly good. Don't expect anything spectacular. Shooters are not my strong suit, and this is a frantic one. Uh, so let's go ahead and put in a quarter or at least a credit, and start the game. Like I said, uh, not very good, so we will start with Novice here. All right. So these things, I believe, are called flippers. Um, yeah, the controls are very frantic, so I'm going to struggle picking the lane that I want. Uh, when the flippers do get up to the top, um, they, they circle around, as you can see here and then they try to attack you. Uh, should they land on you, you lose. Um, I've never been able to figure out a pattern of when I can shoot versus when I can't. I feel like it's the number of uh, bullets on the screen, but I don't think it quite works out that way. At least it doesn't feel that way playing it. So let's do what we can. The flippers are going to be your basic enemy. They're also usually the deadliest for me. Um, the purple ones spawn two uh, flippers when you destroy them. 
or when they get to the top. And like I said, like I can't figure out a pattern with the flippers. When they come, wow, all right, did not do well that time. Let's go ahead and drop in another quarter and try that again. Yeah, this is supposed to have a paddle controller, which once again, I do not have. Um, so hitting the buttons, it, it's difficult to be precise doing that. And I'm just hitting the button and it's not always working out for the best for me. Uh, when I was a kid, I came up with my own strategy for this game. It's not an effective strategy, but uh, it got the job done at lower levels. That's to hold the buttons. Like this, just go around in a circle. It works at the lower levels, but once you start getting to the higher stuff, it stops working. Um, so we made it to level three. I would love to show off all the different level designs, uh, but I'm not skilled enough to be able to make it to all the levels. Um, so that's that's just not gonna happen. And, and I failed again. All right, uh, let's put in another quarter. This time we will start at, oh, I was about to say, are they gonna let me start there? There we go, level three. Uh, we can actually just kind of start uh, where we left off. And I, I should be able to make it at least to uh, level nine or so. But to be honest, my fingers do start to hurt quickly playing this game uh, because there's just so much spamming. And uh, there we go. You get 6,000 points if you start at level three and then you beat level three. So it's really easy to get to uh, the high score once you start getting into things. All right, avoid the spikes. That's the green things. The green things are the spikes. You might have seen the, the kind of rolly things coming up there. Um, they can't shoot you, but they will lay the spikes all the way down. And if you want to destroy it, it takes a lot of bullets to get rid of those spikes. And then you die try because you ran out of bullets on the screen. At least that's my assumption. I've also never figured out exactly the mechanics of when uh, the flipper is is going to uh, land on you versus when you can shoot it. Because everything is just so fast paced in this game. I thought I had it there. I, I was holding the button down, didn't see the map. And there's your little celebratory thing for getting the high score. It doesn't feel like I've fully earned that, but We'll go ahead and put my initials in, and yes, uh, my fingers are already starting to hurt from spamming the button so much. Um, we'll start at level five. I think that's where I was. Yes, I was at level five. Now, if memory serves me right, there is a super zapper that I can put. Really? Uh, and that should destroy like the whole screen. Yeah, there we go. That was it. It's not, it's not all that spectacular at the end of the day. Yeah, and they just kind of double back on me. And I think I have five of the, uh, the supercharged things. But as you can see, it's got a delay on it, so you can't use it. Like whenever you want. Uh, all right. Um, like I said, my fingers are starting to hurt. I can only spam the buttons so long, and I have been trying to practice to get decent at the game. Unfortunately, it means that I'm not going to be able to play too long on the game. Um, all right. It just it it just doesn't always feel like the game um, is picking up what I want it to do. And that's because it's not. Let's try this strategy again. The basic kid strategy strikes again. Nah, it worked for a little bit. Are we still going here? There's still more enemies coming my way. All right, avoid the spikes. They are already clear. And there we go, 16,000 bonus points, and that gets me the new high score. Yeah, there is definitely a delay. I hit the button again, why wouldn't you, why didn't you 
don't you do the massive thing? Massive attack. And there's just so many shapes coming at me. Nope, I am out. I do not have any more of those. All right, yeah. Um, my fingers are definitely starting to go here. Uh, so that's basically how Tempest works. As you get to the higher levels, it's just basically different patterns and stuff. Um, I think I got one more in me because I do want to show off an open pattern. Uh, everything that we have seen so far for level design is a closed pattern, uh, which I believe has 16 uh, lanes in it. I'll show you one with uh, 15 in it, uh, which would be uh, level nine here. This is an open pattern. I can't cycle from one side to the other. And as you can see, like, things get crazy here. And some people can be very good at this. I, I, I've said before, I am not, I'm not good at this. Shooters in general are not my forte, and uh, this one is, is frantic. I mean, there is so much going on here. I'm spamming the button, and it just feels like I can't get that timing right. Uh, so that is Tempest. As you can see, it requires a lot of skill to be good at, and that's something that I have never been able to achieve myself. Uh, but I still enjoy playing it. And with the game now played, let's talk about how playing the game holds up today. Playing the game today, the first thing that does stand out is just how fast-paced the game is. Of all of the shooters that we have done to this point, nothing really comes close to the pace that Tempest sets for the enemies coming at you, for the amount of damage that you're going to have to deal in a short amount of time. Tempest is the fastest-paced game that we have done. And... Although that is definitely a defining feature that I would say is positive at the time, uh, playing it today, I want certain things to happen that the game doesn't have. I want an auto fire. I want upgrades. I want to be able to deal a lot of damage faster without having to constantly tap the button just kind of as fast as I can and hope for the best. Uh, I can't really get a feel for how many bullets I can have on screen or when I can shoot, and that has caused more deaths for me in this game than anything else. Uh, so that... I would say is a detriment for me personally, the fast pace of it, but the fast pace is what um, is also appealing about it. So the game is fun, uh, but I want more from it than it can deliver at the time. And as a result, it doesn't age well for me personally. But if you are a fan of shooters and you want to be challenged in a different way, then this is definitely uh, something that you should enjoy uh, if you're looking at something like Space Invaders and go, well, it's slow. And you look at Galaga and say, well, it's slow or I want the enemies to come at me frantically. Then this is something that is much more up your alley. Um, I can't get very far in the game because of the fast pace, but there are a lot of people that will be able to make it much further than me, and they will enjoy it for different reasons than I can enjoy it. Uh, I would say that the graphics don't hold up well. Uh, the fact that I just kind of have shapes coming at me, I do know that the enemies do have names, but really at the end of the day, they are just kind of shapes coming at me. They don't really have necessarily a personality or anything. They just have a set pattern of what they do, and each enemy has its own pattern. Uh, in terms of the sound, I would say it's good. Nothing that really stands out to me, uh, but it's good sound. Uh, the gameplay, like I said, is very fast paced. That does hold up well, but I do want more from it. I want to be able to deal more damage more quickly since the enemies are coming at me so quickly. And I think that's uh, where uh, the disconnect is. Uh, in terms of replayability, this is a game that is fun for a good five to 10 minutes at a time. And I personally am kind of done after that, but for other people, they are going to want to come back and get better and get the high scores and try to go for world records and stuff like that because this game lends itself well to that because it is so fast paced and requires a lot of time investment up front to get the skills necessary to do well. So for me personally, replayability is low, but for other people, it is going to be higher. 
And I, I think that is my modern take on the game. When the game was released, Tempest proved popular with both the audience and critics. While the game was seen as intimidating for newcomers, the smooth difficulty increase throughout the levels was seen as a good way to keep players interested. As time has gone on, the reviews for Tempest have remained positive, with Tempest sometimes cited among the best video games of all time. Tempest would define a new genre of shooters, known as a tube shooter. Tempest would spawn clones, sequels, and ports, we will keep track of these as we continue. Tempest would also become popular enough to reach popular culture, being highlighted in film, music videos, books, and television series. Looking ahead, Atari would, as you might expect, continue to be a powerhouse in the video game industry. We will follow their progression closely as we continue. As for Dave Thur, the creator of Missile Command and Tempest, Although he would make one more game for Atari, that game would not be successful, and we will not hear from Dave Thurr again. And that will do it for the story of Tempest for now. My name is Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video when we'll go in multiple directions.